A filter is a temporary display of information based upon selected criteria. What do I want to filter? Well, I'm assuming that there's some tasks here that have caused my project's end date to slip out from its baseline date. Which one of these tasks are the culprits? Well, before I apply the filter, let me figure out what my end date was supposed to be, my baseline. And I can do that by coming up here, clicking on the project menu, going down to project information, clicking on statistics. Well, you know, there's a shortcut to get here. Let me close out. You can right click on any one of these toolbars and bring up the tracking. On the tracking toolbar, you can click on the project statistics buttons right there. And you can see it pulls it up there. So if I leave it up, it's easier to click on that button than to have to go through the menu. In any case, my current finish date, again, is September the 22nd. My baseline was the 18th. So what happened? Let me go ahead and close out of here. What I want to do here is I want to be able to filter in only those tasks that have slipped that in turn has caused my project end date to slip from the 18th to the 22nd. To do that, just come up here on the formatting toolbar, click on the drop down arrow. You can see when I hover over it, the little pop up says filter. By default, it's displaying all the tasks. When I click on the drop down arrow, I want to come down here and scroll down to slipping tasks. Select it, and it only displays, again, temporarily because I can change this back to all tasks all those tasks that are based upon the criteria slipping tasks. So these are all the tasks that have slipped. Well, which is nice, but how many days have these tasks slipped? What I can do is I can change this uh, entry table here to the variance table by coming up, clicking on view, going down to table, over and down to variance, and then clicking and dragging the divider bar all the way out here. And of course I can scroll over here to see part of my tasks. And then I can go ahead and at least compare my baseline finish, which was the August the 11th for creating an outline, and the actual finish. It was delayed by one day. The baseline the 12th, the 13th. Baseline the 11th, wow, we really delayed it here on the proofreading. But it's kind of like a snowball effect. When you delay one, it bumps out the other and it continues on down. Now if you haven't noticed, when I switched from my entry table to the variance table, the um, filter is still in place, slipping tasks. Let me go ahead and change it to the tracking Gantt. I'm going to come up here, click on View, go to More Views, scroll down to the bottom here, double click on the tracking Gantt. Of course, if I cannot see my tracking Gantt chart, I can right click on the uh, time scale here, go down to Zoom, select Entire Project, click OK, and you'll notice that when I went to a different view, it cleared the filter. It went from slipping task to all task. So if you switch tables, you're fine. If you switch views, then it will clear the filter for you or you can come up here, click on the drop down arrow, again come down here to slipping tasks. Wow, and you can really tell here when you go to slipping tasks how far they slip from the baseline. I mean, this is the baseline, all the black bars here, and the uh, non-critical task, the only one here that slipped out quite a bit, and then all the criticals you can see, boy, they slipped out quite a bit here. Okay, then we can come up here, click on the drop down arrow, scroll up to the top and select all tasks, and that clears the filter. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.